Churchill, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? All right, so believe it or not, I'm sitting in my race trailer. I know it looks like my office here, but uh, let's go right to it, give you a quick tour around the trailer itself, and then we'll come back in here. So Long Cat is a 48 foot long classic Dominator trailer from 2001. I bought it for $19,000. It had been sitting for a while and needed a lot of work. The inside was pretty dated. Uh, it had kind of older tires and everything. I had to drive all the way to Bowling Green, Kentucky from Florida uh, to go get it. And it made it home, thankfully. They uh, replaced the brakes and everything for me and the tires weren't that old, but they did need to be replaced. And so I spent about two to $3,000 renovating it. Uh, Various bits and bobs on the inside. You can see some of the older photos here and all the little things I did. So let's move on to the outside of the trailer and I'll show you some of the features it has and some of the things I did. So as you can see, it's three 7K Dexter axles with never loop bearings. Uh, one of the things I did after putting the, the trailer on a scale is to see if buying over uh, capacity tires would help in a blowout situation. So they're uh, 4,000 pound rated tires from Provider. One of the other things I did is added a tire minder system. So that will let me know. It's like the same system you have on any brand new modern car. It lets you know the tire pressure. And one of the other things that's cool is it lets you know the, uh, the temperature. So if your bearings are overheating for some reason. All right, so real quick, we put in a Troy built 7,000 watt generator. Provides 30 amps of power. So I build it around pretty much everything, even the, uh, the toaster oven. One of the things I did is I lined in here with uh, some insulation to help reduce heat and some noise. And I put some isolators on the mount here so it doesn't vibrate too much. So if you didn't realize, this is a gooseneck mount trailer with the equipment section back here. We have four different batteries in here and two propane tanks. Got hydraulic uh, jacks here to lift and tilt the trailer. Okay, so the back section is a 24 foot back section. They have tie downs for one car only. I might be able to fit in more than one. Uh, we have main lighting in the form of fluorescence. There are some 12 volt lighting for the uh, LEDs up there. So one of the things I added is a mirror here. So the mirror lets me when I'm getting in the trailer and when I'm wenching it in, make sure that the Mustang won't hit any of these corners here. So being that I only have about an inch of clearance on either side, that is very useful. So you can see the, you can see the spare tire mount here. It's a brand new spare tire. I have a very heavy duty jack here in case there's an issue with the trailer. There's plenty of storage space for all the crap that I bring. So I have a floor mounted jack here, winch the car up. And more storage space for uh, chairs or my race suit, all those kinds of things. And right here we store all the uh, hose for the water. Out here on the side we have some lights so we can work on the car at night or host a party out here. So one of the more subtle things you'll notice is I have little Velcro mounts here. That is where the projector screen mounts and we can watch movies and stuff at night with the uh, onboard speakers here. Okay, so moving on into the trailer, you can see over here we have the desk area with a sit-stand desk that I'll demonstrate in a minute here. Uh, what used to be the desk area actually used to be the couch. It was pretty nasty as you can see in this old photo. So over here is a little lounge area that can be converted into a table. Uh, lots of storage over here. Mainly just use this to uh, lay down and watch the TV we up here, we have up here. You know, we rent movies on YouTube or something while we're at on site. Kitchen area, a uh, propane stove here, which is pretty useful. Microwave. And so when we're on site, you know, at a racetrack or something, and there's no hookups, you just turn on the, the water pump here. Over down here is the, the water tank that I had to custom mount. 
as the original water tank started to leak because it was 17 years old. So you can see we can store the chair over here, which is pretty nice. Get it out of the way for when we have people here or the dogs are in here. Up here is the bed area where we usually have an Xbox hooked up, but the wife wanted to finish playing Tomb Raider and I only have one Xbox with it. But also up here we have the Steam Link, which I'll go over in a minute here. So this computer here, it's uh, one of my more hand-me-down computers. It has an R9 290 video card. Uh, I believe it has just an older um, i7 processor. I'm not actually 100% sure anymore. Uh, you know, it, it doesn't really play 4K that great, but it does everything else I kind of need. I mostly just use it to edit some smaller video shots for Instagram or YouTube or something. And to just look at GoPro, you know, videos and, um, and photos and such. So, you know, when we're on site, it's also nice to boot up, you know, BeamMG Drive or any other Assetto Corsa and play that. I am, I do have a VR rig at, in my uh, office at home, uh, which I do plan on installing in here once the new VR stuff comes out. So I'll have a VR rig in here eventually. Uh, I just don't really want to justify the cost for two of them. One of the things you probably don't notice is the uh, the monitors obviously don't match. <laughs> I'm not big on cable management either, so you guys can beat me up over that. Uh, I do, uh, most of this stuff is cheap in here because it does get really hot in here. Obviously I can't run the air conditioning and the computers and everything at the same time connected to my house currently. <laughs> but, uh, you know, all this stuff is just kind of hand-me-down stuff from the office computer where I have all the nicer things, obviously. But, you know, hey, it works, and it works great. So if anything breaks in here, I just kind of buy something new for the office and throw it in here. One of the things that's critical uh, to being able to run a computer on a generator, especially kind of a cheaper generator like I'm running, is this UPS battery backup. So everything computer-related is connected to this. So if there's any kind of dip in power, the generator cuts off. This will back it up, and I'll be able to turn off the computer. Okay, so you see we're up in the bed area. One of the cool things with Steam Link, not only was it $7, but since I set up a wired network with the Wi-Fi Ranger in this trailer, I'm able to set up Steam Link here. So one of the benefits is you can sit here and play Steam games from the little bed area. I don't have to have a big tower PC anywhere. As you can see, I don't really have a lot of space. So you can also use a little hack and you add like Word or Chrome or something and you can actually just navigate your desktop from Steam Link. So it's actually pretty useful. So we have a decently sized bathroom. Shitter. We've got the nice shower in here. That's where I keep the water filter. Decently sized sink. All the cleaning supplies down there and such. Towels. Things like that. So as you can see, this is a sit-stand desk here. It very nicely rolls up very cleanly. One of the things I found over using this trailer for the last couple months was the, I had a desk here and it was kind of in the way that the chair was kind of in the way. So and I found myself just coming in from events and looking at the computer, using the computer, and then leaving, you know, checking photos, checking video. So this was very useful. So you're probably wondering, well, why do you need a giant trailer like this if you mostly do autocross? Well, we've done a lot of hybrid trips with this trailer that have just been a ton of fun. So one example is we went to Savannah. We stayed at this beautiful place called the Red Gate Inn. They had horseback riding for the wife who we went horseback riding. Uh, my horse's name was Mo. Pretty funny. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, we were able to disconnect the, the truck and go drive into Savannah and go have fun. You know, with an RV set up, or any of those kinds of things, you just can't do that. And what did we do after that? Well, we went racing on Sunday at Roebling Road Raceway. And while at the racetrack, able to prepare food and we have all our drinks with us. All those types of things, it just kind of makes everything nicer. So one of the other obvious benefits we have of the trailer is we're able to bring both of our dogs uh, to the races, to our trips, everything. We can bring our own food, which is really nice. My wife is celiac, so finding a place to have to eat for her is really difficult a lot of times. So being able to just bring all of our own food or cook all of our own food has really been useful. And it's one of the main reasons why also we got this trailer. So, you know, one of the things you're probably wondering is, well, well, where do you store this giant thing? Well, 
Uh, my house has on the side of the yard, there's about 120 feet. So when we had the fence installed, I made sure the gates were wide enough, made sure there was enough space, bought a whole bunch of rocks, laid them down, and uh, well, the trailer fits. It does uh, attract a little bit of attention when I am backing the trailer up. So it is pretty comical, but, uh, but hey, I mean, it fits, it works and I don't have to pay any storage fees and when the, the hurricane hits or something we can just either leave or the power goes out you know and everything's still fine we come in here and live in here we got air conditioning got the generator we got plenty of gas so there are a lot of benefits to this trailer that I really like some of the downsides you know it does take a while to prep everything in the trailer it does require a lot of upkeep a lot of maintenance obviously so that's it for the long cap video let me know if you have any other questions about it or if you'd like to see anything else we will be doing some minor updates to it over the next couple months, so be sure to follow us at Spectre Racing, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.